Welcome to the IVM Podcast Network. Hi, this is Amit Doshi, and I wanted to thank each and every one of our listeners. It's been two years since I founded IVM, and it's been an amazing two years. We wanted to learn a little bit more about who is listening to our shows, and so we put together a short survey. The survey is anonymous, and we aren't going to be collecting any personal information. I would really appreciate it if you could take a couple of minutes out of your day and go to ivmpodcast.com slash survey and fill it out. Thanks, and please keep listening. Okay, there's a show for children called My Neighbor Zuckerberg, hosted by Munaf and Nabil, two young men who love each other so much that one day they will have children together. But that's for another show. For now, it's just My Neighbor Zuckerberg. Interesting entrepreneurs, people who make it, will make it and have made it. iTunes, Audio Boom, and also you can download the IVM app if you want to search and find My Neighbor Zuckerberg. Also, all this on Google Play. All right, please note that the language and ideas presented on the show might not be suitable for everyone. If you're under 18, make sure your mom isn't around. If you're over 80, why is your mom around? You're listening to Cyrus Says. On Cyrus Says, we meet Radhika Vaz, comedian, feminist, author, writer, singer, actor, dancer, but above all, comedian. Radhika Vaz is and always will be a comedian. Why follow your auntie's advice when you can follow Cyrus Says on Facebook and Twitter to stay updated about the latest shows? Okay, there's criticism and there's just someone being loving. Let me tell you, a friend of mine, rather acquaintance, came up to me and said, I really hated that article of yours. It was really bad, really bad. Now, my point is, uh, what is the point of that conversation? Are you trying to make me a better writer, a happier person, improve the quality of our relationship? Or better still, would you like me to examine your life and talk to you about how you're the fourth brother in a group of lawyers who's overshadowed by his other brothers and father and that doesn't really have much to do but play golf on Tuesdays? So, let's just understand. Everybody's, you know, entitled to their opinion, but there's just plain insulting and there's criticism. Of course, the article was bad. There's no doubt about that. It's called Cyrus's. And that's what Cyrus says. Okay, here with Radhika Vaz, just p- picking up from what I just discussed. You you were saying you get that a lot? I get that a fair amount. Like I have my mom's friends who read my columns and every now and then they'd be like, we didn't like last week's. Yeah. Didn't like it at all. Although- Oh, that's mean I, I don't mind didn't like But it starts getting really aggressive Yeah it's like It's not the same It's been you know It's just not your voice It just sounds like somebody else And then I'm like Why did I not hate The Prime Minister enough <laughs> Yeah but uh, like, my, no, you, you know it's not about What the column was <laughs> The fact is that the person Thinks they're doing you a favour Is what, what, what just Boggles my mind They want to because remind I, me Of who I am No would you go up to your uncle Who's let's say Marketing in a <laughs> MNC And say Last week didn't meet the targets man Buck up Buck up You know really looking bad I mean nobody talks like that To other Thanks people Thanks for that that rubbishy mailer that you sent me it yeah. was awful it was so ugly it exactly. didn't make any sense yeah. no I know but I think that when you're in a job like ours it's a free for all man you have to have a thick skin and also I dish it out a lot you know so like no, no, but you're dishing it out uh, to celebrities or to generic types okay? sure yeah we're talking about someone who knows you coming and just it's, this is personal yeah it is personal in a personal. sense and it's, I think it's unnecessary I think they can say the same thing nicely that's what civilization is all about they could they could say like you know like like if your uh, you know, your relative said not your finest work yeah. but you know not too bad or whatever you can live with it but they tell you oh god it was terrible I really hated it it's not you it's not your voice what's wrong with you are you sick are you dying is this the end of your career I don't like my I I realise I don't like my relatives very much I hate your relatives and I haven't met them can't bear them (laughs) Radhika Vaz ladies and gentlemen on Cyrus Says one of our finest comedians let me tell you the beginning Yes. many years ago uh, can you tell me when you came to India I can but I have a I have met you and spoken to you a few times. I don't even know if you'll remember. I remember everything because uh, your cousin is Forget a friend of that. mine. Forget that. So he came before. and told me about you before you came to Bombay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, but All that right? was different. So let's, let's talk about Joydeep, your cousin. No, let's so one talk, day, okay, many let's years talk ago, about my freaking cousin. I'm, I'm going to start right at the beginning. So Joydeep says, you know, my cousin is a stand-up. And this is before the stand-up scene had kind of started. Yeah. In India. She's a stand-up comedian. She wants to do stuff. And can she meet you and this and that? Because it's like two and a half of us in the business at that point. Yeah. And I said, okay, whatever. Let's see. I had no idea. And then, of course, I don't think he followed it up or whatever you came did your own thing no. and then suddenly we read about you as this edgy vulgar if, if female using bad language on I mean it was quite chi chi thu thu yeah it was nothing okay. like what there, he said there are two stories before this okay, go on, okay. so go on. first of all the first time I think I met you was actually at Bombay gym Okay. Oh, not when we're and drinking. I, was, That's no, not fair. I know that was stupid because yeah. this friend, a common friend of ours, introduced us and he tried to be a comedian. He was like, the two of you love a lot in common. And literally, the two of us looked at each other and I kept looking at you and I was like, 
Oh. He has no neck. He must be a weightlifter, <laughs> and I like lifting weights. By the way, we should talk about that. I love it. By the way, I want to yeah. talk to you about your your weightlifting. I want to find out if you're for real or one of these bodybuilder types. Oh, huh? there's a difference between the powerlifters and the body. But we'll come to that in a minute, so I can shame you on your weightlifting. But he he did this, and then <laughs> he's emasculating me already. Already, and then I he, will remove my pants and leave. Give me my skirt, please. <laughs> I want the one Elvis wore in Blue Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. And then he he, he stood there. Huh. It's a yeah, common that, trend. Uh, uh, digressing for a second, that's another thing that happens when people label you comedian. No, make each other the, laugh. Ha, make ha, each other ha. laugh. Make and us laugh. Say something funny. You're seven drinks down. Night. You're ranting about the Modi government. Whatever. And they, they want you to come up with two men in a bar. But, and, and, and both of us just sort of looked at each other and like, eh, and that was it. And then of course later I was like, the side is not very friendly considering how popular he is. But then I was like, no, that was a stupid thing to do. Then the next time was when well, Joy the introduced I'm, I'm over us. Friendly. You are over friendly, and that's why I thought you would not. No, really but I must have been very drunk. You that's may why have I don't been. talk about. Uh, I was nights. also I was a little high, so and I may I have been drunk paranoid. And chasing some girl, and you know, and after the wife, and it's a lot yeah, of mind it's a lot. It's there. too much. Come on, show it's some heart, much. comedian. I agree, I agree. No, I forgave you then, and then I called you because Joy gave me your number, right. and we had a little bit of a chat. Hmm. There was something on NDTV which didn't come through, where I wanted to use you desperately, but unfortunately, come through. I spoke to you. You don't remember? Okay, fine. All right. Well, now we. I think. Now like this a, is the first proper sit down. Let's be honest heard, yeah, between Cyrus heard, and Radhika. I heard they're selling any TV, so don't feel to bad. To who though? I don't know. Whoever wants to buy it. All you, right. Well, you, I I wait, don't wait, care who then, owns no, it. Then we met at the the shoot. The the yes. Then we met at the Readers shoot. Readers Digest yes, put us on, you, on the on cover. The cover. No it less. was a big moment for yeah. my grandma. Yes, it was huge. Since that's the last reading generation. That makes absolute that sense. Is, especially and we had other people, Mithul and Tanmay Bhat. And I was worried that they put him on top of me, but luckily it, as it panned out, you I was on top, top of him. You were right. Yeah, you no, were right no, at the no, top. No, it was no, Aditi no. and me it were like a little sandwich. It was two men and then two women. It was like a little Tanmay, Cyrus, Aditi. Okay, listen, your your dreams are different from mine. But I was I was on top of Tanmay and Aditi was on top of all of us, and that wasn't the funniest thing ever. That's true. Yeah, I was somewhere in between. Yeah, which is and and the great part is they shoot all this uh, differently. I I picked that up. I picked that line. You did. You got that. That that poignant moment. It's all there. Middle of the path is the best place to be. By the way, I flirted as much as I could with the photographer. Middle stays forever. Up and down. Yeah, that's true. Exactly. I'm sort of just. I've always been average. And I don't want to say that. Just look at the thorax, head, abdomen. It's like that. Okay, we're going to come to this we'll whole bodybuilding thing. Later. Bodybuilding later. Yeah. Radhika Bhat is one of country's most well-recognized sound. Okay, let's just talk a little bit about because we don't know your past. Uh, uh, before the comedy thing, oh, you were in America. Yes. But you actually Bangalore. I am actually Air oh, Force. Bangalore. I call myself an Air Force. Oh, so kid. you're a Fauji kid. Yeah. So Fauji. you're 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 a proper Indian. I'm a proper well Indian traveled. man. Oh, and With no an identity. American passport. <laughs> Proper Indian. Proper Indian. <laughs> there you go. Right you there. made the right choices I at the did, right time, just before Trump. I know. No, can't give it back now. Can't, by the way, no, no, gotta no, wait. No. no. Will he last four years? That's another question. I hope not, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah, but who knows? Maybe he'll uh, dumb it down a bit. If it can be dumbed down anymore, dude, he's just on a roll right now. I don't think even no. Yeah, nobody. but listen, he's got his hawks looking at him. He's got to also, you know, feed them a little bit. Yeah, he is. He's got he's to make some them. noises. Which, are, if you look at him, maybe he's doing the right thing to keep them it's at bay. It's politics at the end of the yeah. day, man. That happens here, there, everywhere. It's all the same. Really, and 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 to be honest, not to take his side ever. Mm-hmm. But do you think he really, if you're from Syria uh, with a foreign name and with No real assets. Uh, you'll be allowed into the country with you know. I mean, it's, it's not like they're going to let everybody in. No, so, they're not. Of course, banning in a racial in. way is ridiculous. But the I fact agree. that they won't let you in anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but why are we getting into that? Radhika Bhat, yeah, army kid, air force. Yes, this is my interview about me. Please go ahead. And my little background, little my background. stellar career. Little uh, air force kid, only mm-hmm. child. Why? Uh, parents didn't like children i think and Fair i think enough. they just had the one because they everyone's right. like have one, have one have one have yeah. one my mom was like fine f- it i'll have one yeah. she had one her exact words her exact words yeah. and now it's her exact words are ah oh, f- it you know like every time she i have another me. but nobody no, nobody's no, no, around no 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 she's <laughs> like no one's around. so they had one didn't want any more clearly and uh, then i went born, born in india somewhere born in india Where? born in bombay Oh. I'm a Bombay girl. Oh, what a tragic degree. story! I went. To, I, I I was born here and I went to college here. So that's yeah. my college. Which college? Sapphires. Oh, excellent! Mother and wife. Oh, really? Mine, that is, yeah. Okay. All much above your okay, batch. Okay, I have to tell you something. Maybe much above your mother's batch. No, not your wife. Probably, <laughs> maybe your mum. Yeah. Tell me. Tell I, I, me. I hope I'm not your mum's batch. Maybe. <laughs> God no. <laughs> Could be. Huh. Uh, so I have a nephew who's college going, and he got dumped by a Sapphire girl recently, mm-hmm. as she he should have been. 
Uh, and uh, of course, the next thing I am having conversation with him, and I was just telling him how. Actually, I remember Joy's brother said this to my mom. It's all in my book, by the way. You can read about it. Well, tell you anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, my book, Unladylike, which everyone should buy from Amazon. Uh, uh, Unladylike, uh, a memoir by Radhika <laughs> Vaz, effortlessly funny according to Times of India, staring at me right now, and based uh, based slightly on your first show, and then of course it goes ahead. Actually, not based on my shows at all, except for the title. Except for the title, literally. This but is how. Now that you digress, I'll quickly point out that the, the, the avatar that you seem to have, or we seem to know. Yes. Who know some of you, but not all of you. Yes. Is this uh, slightly angry, funny woman? Yeah. Uh, feminist comedian. Yes, totally. Is this correct? Yeah, is I'm a feminist fair? and a comedian and a woman. Yeah. And well, you could be. I'm a feminist and a comedian things. too. There you go, no. my man. <laughs> well, I'm not a comedian. I'm a feminist. <laughs> you are a feminist. No, you're sort of a comedian, more, and you may I'm be a man. Woman. I'm more woman than you. Check you this out. You probably are. You are more woman than me. This is the thing about weightlifters. See, I knew you'd do that at some point. God, that's the only cocktail trick. It is. Nothing works below the waist. You know what I'm talking about. Hey girls, what have some fun? Like, yeah, Don't I take long. Yeah, I got breasts um, too. I got breasts too. Can we talk uh, about you? Yes, we can talk about me. Uh, and not Cyrus's breasts. No, so, uh, so the guy who got dumped uh, by the girl. Yes, yeah, so he got dumped, and he act uh, so. He literally said to me, said, "But you know, Chachi, I do think that Sapphire girls may be a little bit more, you know." Faster than I, I was like really Sapphire girls are sexually faster, proficient. Sexually proficient. And That's my mother, actually, my wife, your you, mother and your wife. Yeah, damn and you. I'm proud you're of bang it. On. <laughs> but I was proud yeah. of it. I was like, Spot no, you're right, kid. Yeah. I'm not yeah. even going to be offended by yeah. that. I'm like, we are. Why should you? Why should we? Really? Why should we? It's just that men like you, and you know, some people don't get that kind of buzz. Exactly, and we're just not uptight. So anyway, so the, what happened? She yeah. dumped him. Why? Because of this so attitude, he's, he's most jerk. probably a little, a little bit, bit yeah. of a nitwit. Yeah. He needs to grow up. Uh, but uh, but yeah, so I went. I was all over the place. I studied in boarding school. Where in Uti? Uh, which one? Hebron? Lawrence School. Lovedale. Lawrence School, very famous, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You Got sm- thrown out you of there. You smoke other stuff. Uh, not in school. I came to that in my in my in you my. You go 30s. to Uti. You don't smoke there. And no, in I your don't. Thirties, you discover all this. I discovered everything in my thirties. Oh. I discovered the stuff in my thirties, and I stopped drinking immediately. Really? You don't drink? I hate it. It is just not worth it. Yes, yeah, Once in maybe like six months, if there's like a big dance party that I need a lot of energy. What and about the most noble for? reason of all? When it's free. Yeah, uh, but no. And then people come up to you and say, "Tell us a joke." And exactly. You can, because you're not drunk anymore. You exactly. can. Well, no. <laughs> I don't do don't that though. Bar. Isn't that the? It, I, f- I, it's I can't. Hilarious. I can't. I yeah. just don't do it. I've actually been at a dinner party once. I had a show the next night, and so I was at this dinner, and this woman was like, "Tell us some jokes, na. I can't come for your show tomorrow night." Uh, charge. I was like really stupid. Two thousand rupees a joke. I'm like just pay- yeah exactly. I, want, I I told her I said if you pay me now I'll do the jokes. <laughs> Anything cheaper? Short joke? No exactly. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm no interrupting way. your flow. So you're yes. you're um you're born in Bombay. Yeah. So fire college education a lot of formative years here. Yes. Mumbai. Yes. Dad's family goes from Bombay. Right, right. So little bit of contact. That's how the Joy Deep connection. There you go. Uh yeah. so yeah, so a lot of family in Bombay. Uh, spent a lot of holidays and things like that here, but really all over the place. And then I moved to the states in 2000 and after college. After Actually, after college and after working here for several years, so I worked for the Taj Group of hotels oh. as a sales girl and a. Sari. That's where the feminism really took hold when you had to deal with people. I, you know, dealing with Indians and foreigners every day of your life for seven years, you broke. I broke down. I broke down, especially the foreigners. No, and then advertising for a long time. But you know, I, I think Cyrus, what happened was because of the generation I'm from, I never really focused on feminism. It wasn't a word I was familiar with. and honestly the only time i'd heard it was sort of negatively a little bit and i never thought about it because also i'm to be honest i'm from a fairly privileged background i mean air force kid only child parents very liberal you know i never felt like i needed to fight for anything uh i really became aware that i was a feminist in my 30s that's the weird thing like that well, was when, when i was like oh, book. that was when i read my own book oh god look at me i'm a okay, feminist I'm, it's embarrassing 17, yeah. that I, i i'd written my show on lady like which is all about you know the stereotypes of femininity and it's an hour long show and i was interviewed after the show by this girl and the first question she asked me i was with my director of the show first question she asked me is are you a feminist and i was about to say not really i don't know it's all fiction some, i was going to say <laughs> something stupid and my my director happens to be uh, oh, so his name or his name brock savage his name is brock savage and brock, brock savage. savage is he a wrestler He He's sounds not. like a wrestler. He should be a wrestler. He's, He's a big guy. Blue corner, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, Savage. totally. Huh. That's exactly that. He's built like one yeah. too. But he, uh, he's this gay, very, very lib 
the guy and he's like, okay. oh, can I say something? And uh, the woman was like, yeah, he's like, I just have to say, I hate women who say they're not feminists. And I was like, I'm a feminist. <laughs> I spent the last six months with this guy. I did not know this about him. What is him. a feminist? Standing up for women's rights? Not even standing for up. I think just the in, in-depth belief that we're all equal and we should not be judged at all. But it's amazing what a world we live in. I was just thinking, I have a I guy know. who works for us in a small property we own outside Mumbai, which I can't mention. Yeah. And he's on his fourth child because he's trying to produce a male. And we try to explain to him that it's just ridiculous. His it's wife just, needs to explain this no, to him. No, but, the, the, but, but the difference right? in the in the powers, you know, and how know, far can we go? Yeah. How far can you go trying to play God? You can't play God. No, it's somebody can't. else's life. I agree. But it's so unfair and ridiculous. It is, and what's unfair and ridiculous is I'm I'm I've been doing a lot of research into all kinds of stuff here in India because you know I'm a feminist and and I I I, I talk about this a lot in my work. You know, can as you a be comedian. a feminist racist? Of course, like, you like can. Only, That's what like, I am. Like, I am a feminist. Like <laughs> brown women only and anti other colors. And I all. think that I there's mean, a lot of I, I talk like about that. I no, like but that's a good point because they're talking a lot about this, saying exactly that. They're saying that white feminism doesn't take into consideration a lot of the issues. It's like how I think their problems are different their from problems black are different. feminism, from tribal feminism in Absolutely, India. Absolutely, from Muslim feminism, from Malabar Hill feminism, from Malabar Hill feminism. From and that's the thing in India. I think we have a lot of Malabar Hill we feminism. Have too much, too May much. not be so much other stuff. Ah. Mrs. Sharma doesn't have a job, but has nah, lots of problems. No. Hair color is going faster. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Say Sharma. Love you. No, life. but uh, yeah, I I'm definitely I I yeah I I think we all have to see what what I like about you, if I may say so, yes, is the yes. fact that you have this little bit of a um uh you know a, a line underlining you mm-hmm. this feminism. It gives you a sort of edge. Yeah. Because the rest of us don't have any meaning to our comedy. Let's face it. What do I? I just complain about everything. I don't I'm have bitter, meaning. I don't know. And I'm unhappy. About, and oh, I'm, 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 I'm I'm dying. And fart jokes. Yeah, but that's all fine. That all comes into the milieu. But the point is that uh, at the bottom of it all, you've always got this little place to go. So there's a little more profundity or meaning in the in the thing. Maybe. Now what happens to us? We don't have that. I'm, can you suggest something for me? Look, you're a man. You don't need that. That's the. I good used to be a man. A I just showed you what I do. I know that's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's it. That's all. You. That's it. Your whole show is right there. I used to be a man. Bob so we can do a show together. Bishan. First, we can. First of all, you do your unlady like, yeah. which is really me. Exactly. You're basically Cyrus. <laughs> Okay, we've hit on something. Uh, Let's get back to Radhika Vaz's yes. life. It's an interesting journey from Mumbai. It looks like an average upper middle class background, uh, 4G kid, all that. And then you go to America and you're th- after working oh, my for parents will be so flattered by the upper middle class. <laughs> you want, what, what do you want? What do you want? I don't want sure, sure. I'm happy with it. You I'm say just it. saying it. it just, it's a lie though. But anyway, We're here to serve on. the customer. Carry on, carry on. Oh, come on. You no, didn't suffer. Go. Where was the suffering? I didn't suffer. I didn't you, suffer. I know how the 4G kids live. Oh, you, we live like well. Kids. I agree. Fact, we live well. When you're no longer in the business, you sort of come into a flat after having all those big bungalows Shocking. and orderlies are holding plates for you and hundreds of people standing outside the gate and saluting you what more do you want? I agree Plus the big guns yeah, the big that, guns always the help hugest and you've got the, the fighter cannons. jets I have <laughs> There you go I know, I know. <laughs> Your boyfriend must have really suffered but I my didn't... daddy got fighter jet uh, Yeah uh, no. I got a Maruti I'll take you for a drive Oh Maruti would have been nice actually <laughs> No yeah you had a plane! I had a plane. You're really a comedian. All right. So you go to uh, seven years, you do the, the Taj thing, you go yes. to advertising. Yeah. Well, for, no, the Taj thing was three years and then the advertising thing was like freaking forever, man. Okay. So I, then, yeah. When, what, where, why America? What happened? Uh, I was in love and the boy said that he was going to America oh. and like a real f***ing feminist. Yeah. I was like, there you go. Yes. And so I went running along and. To do what? To, to just make sure he didn't meet anyone else. To do a course. Yeah, yeah. So I went to cover as up a, for your romance. A, 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 completely. And he went for a proper It wasn't course. even a cover up. It was so blatant and pathetic. Because it's needlework and nobody does it, it anymore. Just really. A diploma in needlework. I, I learned typing, a little bit of knitting. <laughs> Yeah. And that's it. Uh, what did and he cooking. do? I know. So he, what does he, it, I married him, by oh, the way. God. Just to be clear. Oof, all that did, money down the drain. I was like, yeah, I'm a wasting. Yeah. I wasted enough time. Never leave him, I don't not, even love him so anymore. Now reason, exactly. No, we you hate each other. At this him. point, there is it's not even. It's EMIs that have to be completely. paid, and you got to stay with that's the guy. It. Now this is what true it is. feminism. F- that ego. bastard. Ego. Let him suffer. Ego and EMI, two things that will lead to marriage. I'm with you. He deserves it. I want you to follow him. He does. Yeah, so that's it. So that's that's why I went. But then. When we moved in together, I realized that I didn't have anything to do. Like New York sounds really cool, but you're in New York. Yeah, I had a job. That's the most difficult place to keep a relationship. Uh, well, you fall in love in the subway, walking in the streets. Yeah, that happens to this day uh, in Bombay even. Oh god! I just had an affair with motor rickshaw driver. <laughs> you're telling me that was awesome. That was me. It was All right, awesome. we take a break. Then when we come back, we'll talk some more. Damn. Getting signals because you're you know talking too much I apparently. Know from this Darth Vader Radhika, guy. why? Why you talk so much? Why? I don't we know. find out when we come back. Radhika was comedian, feminist in that order. Yes.
Hey Dilnaz, have you tried sex toys? No, I've not tried sex toys, but I've tried sex. Said, why are you asking me this weird question? Who talks about sex like that? We do. Really? We do. We also talk about dating, condoms, and orgasms. On our show X and Y, where we have a casual conversation about sex and relationships in India. X and Y is available every week on Stitcher, YouTube, the IVM podcast app, or any other podcasting app you prefer. So I guess we do talk about sex like that. All right, Radhika is still with us, and we're discussing her life and career. She went to America, to New York, no less. Yes. Room with her husband to be. Yes. What course? And a few do? of his friends. Oh my God! It was Indians. horrible. Indians. Why do we do man. this? Where no, no, it's all immigrants, dude. We have to pile up. It's pile like an immigrant up. thing. It's like there's I mean, no money. You never go to they see this subcontinent. Yeah. I listen to the Pakistanis sure. and the Sri Lankans yeah. as bad as us. Yeah. And you just land up there, and there's always eight people. Always. I don't think the Scandinavians have that. They'll never. Like, they look at us like we're animals. They're disgusted with us. We lied to people. They can't find the partner. No. Few, it's no. like you're not blonde I, for one thing. <laughs> yeah, there you no, go. No, and they have pride. We they have, have pride. none, and they have proximity. They can, they can exactly. don't violate that. Oh my God, we we don't care. So, so, so was, and, and whatever we are, however we raised, we're many. We're so many. always many. Always. We don't have singular. Nothing. That's why in the north they always say everything in plural. Is that why the players plays well? Ha, huh? Summers, winters. Summers, winters. How are you doing? My thumb toes. <laughs> What's up? Hey, my, my toe I don't thumb. give a. F- uh, that yeah. was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that means, man. Like, That's funny. I said, no, no, I'm like, translate that, that to me, man. Canadian, I, I guess. A- so you were um, in New York, and? Yeah, so I went to New York and I realized very quickly it doesn't matter if you're living in like a sexy city like New York. If you don't, I don't know, go out there and do something, you're kind of just another person anyway. You anywhere. feel like a loser very quickly. You don't quickly. feel like a loser quickly. That city really is strict. It's true. It's yeah. You can She's be thinking you're the best shit. And actually, you it's be, a good reality check. It is. Everybody. Because if you're not really into things yeah. and your day is not covered, yeah. you just feel like a loser. No, and then you go to parties with a bunch of other Indians and you're all fronting like, you're, I have a green card, yeah. but I have a citizenship. Oh, I'm not in IT, oh, so many people want to talk to you. Oh, me, I only have an H1B visa. Those were the conversations I couldn't deal with. You're a citizen? Uh, you're now an American citizen? I am, but I went through every phase like from student visa which is like the lowest okay. caste on and, the and it was probably democratic government at that point in it was fact. did we have Clinton Clinton I think the year I got there 2000. yeah so I got there at the fag end of Clinton at what, the beginning what's, of the what's Bush. your language my yeah, producer exactly. touchy <laughs> no oh that's true both fag and end uh, but, <laughs> gets a really angry yeah. <laughs> but yeah so basically started doing improv classes just to kill some time very quickly there's no uh, Comedic backstory. There's no. Well, there's a college. little bit. I, the the uh, comedic the backstory. No, I I just didn't think. I didn't have any role models, dude. I just got to be honest with you. I never thought comedy was something women did. I never saw a female comedian as a gro- growing up as a kid in India. I saw Johnny Lever, and that wasn't my scene. And it was a guy. And in the business in Bollywood, well, I never even saw comedic actresses. I don't think. There were two and a half comedians for the last 46 years, right. you're right. And so there wasn't even, it wasn't even a possibility. Like I knew I wasn't going to be the girl in entertainment who was going to be, you know, the ingenue. Um, um, I speak orangutan, yes, go on, go on. <laughs> I wasn't going to be the freaking lead. You know, that but, was but, just but, I'm confused, you're in New York studying what? Start, oh, I was in okay. So I was in Syracuse for a year studying ah. advertising, but that was only because I got full aid that's, that's for that front. particular. That's that was the front. front. That was the front for you a year. You guys are bored with this crap, and and you wanted. To I was it. looking for a job in New York because I had to get a visa to and stay. Every on. McDonald's was, was every done. McDonald's was closed. They yeah. were like, we don't want Indians go to the Seven yeah. Eleven down the street. Yeah. That's where you're from. <laughs> and so <laughs> I own, finally we own those. We own those. Yeah. Respect, and that's yeah. why I didn't get a job there either. See, because numbers, we hate our kind. Oh, their numbers. Indians are good. You know, Seven Eleven. We can do it. Seven plus eleven. Yeah. But no, I'm the Indian who's horrible at that. Also, so I was like, but that's just, okay. They yeah, but know. they didn't know. They yeah. didn't know. They were like, this girl looks mm. clever. She's Indian. Anyway, finally got an advertising job with the same company I was working with here. Got mm-hmm. it. Got a job there, and then and it was okay for a while. Which was awesome. Advertising job in New York is Mad Men, the yeah. seventh season. Correct. Yeah. And you know, but it just again. So then the improv is it's like a hobby. You, just, I want to take classes and try totally. things. Totally. I wanted to be an. I was like, let me take acting classes, but then I ended up taking an improv class because it was free. Mm. <laughs> for the first session or whatever and I liked it I liked the woman who you was know teaching you know why no? yes why Indian Indian yes, correct exactly yes. absolutely absolutely I was like free <laughs> and uh, took the class loved the class signed up for it and I think it was just more
more the people there they were just really fun laid back everything was about this improv and there was no homework like it wasn't like go home and learn your lines it was like just show up next class and we'll see how it goes i love improv it's the lazy I, man's I, art form oh my and God, if you're like it? one of us who doesn't want to learn lines who want to meet other people in rehearsal improv perfect all yeah. you have to do is listen and if you can change your team nobody knows you're not good at it That's you just keep going so. you just next keep, one next one next one flipping around Oops. uh but i loved it and that was sort of so my you start you duck to water immediately, immediately. the first time you went on some you know in life sometimes i think we all have that moment where we feel yeah. okay this is something i can do yeah. no not to be egotistical but you know yeah. that you know i i sort of belong you felt that sure. moment immediately i felt it with the people i was like these are there definitely people i want to hang out with that's because their back stories are like yours Correct. they quit their jobs and came here and all, all that. everyone's yeah. a mess no one yeah. seemed yeah. actually happy Lovely. i was like this is perfect yeah. you know and a uh, lot of new york actors and stuff initially so that was a little uncomfortable for me because i was like Yeah. They're a little too pretentious. I'm going to play Caesar, but in yeah, the meantime, <laughs> just back off. Yeah. But then gradually I got into the comedy side of improv because initially it was improv for the sake of just learning improv and what it means. But then I started to go down the comedy route and I started working with like people who really wanted to be writers and performers. Still keeping comedy. the job. Still keeping the job. You don't have a choice in New York, yeah. and that's the other nice thing about New York. And in right? case it's he like, leaves you, the, you need to make oh, sure. Oh yeah, you're yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. By, By then, then the you, feminism you, you, and you something. Met, you met people in the improv class. He's met people in his line of. Uh, He's Never. met people, and yeah. he's not interested in getting married, by the way, at all. Yeah. Like literally not. Yeah. Uh, so there was no no option. I had I had to keep the job, and then it just became part of life, dude. You had to keep the job. I mean, I'm surprised at people who don't have jobs in Bombay. Oh God, I don't have a job. <laughs> well, anyone. you kind of have a job. Not really. I just report to places, but there's well, no job. Well, now technically, I I'm don't like have a job. I'm like a watchman. Either. In that sense, I have a job. Yes, correct. Because you know, you go to the place and do duty for a little while and That's leave. That's true. I have that job. I don't have a proper too. job. It's just like I can't tell people this is what I do. I know, but you know, my like, parents I just still say I'm an engineer. They just no, lie. No, but the whole thing of full-time comedy—it's such a myth in a way, right? For so long, like some people are lucky. You got lucky, Cyrus. You were like one of literally. You were on TV there immediately. No, there was nobody else. That may be so, but so it doesn't lucky. matter. You were, and Nobody I think a lot of people look at you. No, that's not true. But I fun. think a lot of people look at that and think it's easy. Yeah, that's true. This body is built by Bharat. It is. <laughs> <laughs> But this is about you, Radhika Vaz. You will not come back to me. Uh, and your life story is very interesting. So you chucked everything. Yeah. You're, you're doing improv. You feel you belong, but you're not thinking, thinking career, are you? No, I'm not thinking career at all. And uh, part of the reason I wasn't thinking career was also because you make no money in improv per se, unless you get onto that one so and only people, show called Who's Line. So what are people doing anyway? there? What's their next? Okay, forget that. What, right. what is the next step? For so a, a lot person? of people that I was hanging with were really writers, and they wanted to write TV shows or films okay. or you know stuff so like that. You're going to find the satellite outlets and all that. Yeah. It's not like improv as a job for. Life. It didn't. It, that wasn't the crowd that I was. No, 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 no. That wasn't the crowd that I was running with. I definitely would watch a lot of those people because there's some very talented what improvisers. What do they get paid? Do you make a? They get paid okay, but all of them have a second thing going on. Like everybody, and I got used to hanging with people like that who were sort of like doing many different things. And I think that's sort of now. That's why I'm the way I am. You know, when I got an opportunity to write a book, I wrote. Like I, if I can write a column, I'll write a column. If I can do a show, I'll do a show. If I can write. A television thing. I'll try and do that, and so I'm sort of all over the place. If they ask you to rewrite the Communist Manifesto and correct all the spellings in German by Karl Marx, done. Went, done. I'm your girl. Feminist for life. Yeah, Even communism for life. fell before. Communist for life. Okay, we have to fast forward a little bit, otherwise we run out of time. Yes. So you now are doing the improv. You're in America, yeah. and then then when does the career happen? The career actually happened, I think, in about 2008. in 9 2010 which is when i started writing by then i st- i was still doing improv i was teaching it all of that stuff but i really wanted to come to india and do some sort of performance and i knew it would be very difficult to do like an eight man improv troupe coming to india like who the hell was going to pay for that so i figured that a one woman show and nobody invites to india so you can't nah, even explain I it i couldn't even explain to the blondies airport. they want to live here yeah, yeah right, they like no right. they don't <laughs> uh so nobody yeah so i wanted to do this on my own and i figured that writing a one person show which of course is now what i call stand up comedy but a one woman show would probably be useful and i started writing monologues and that was sort of when i started to feel like okay this i can actually do and i might be able to even get a career out so of it f- okay and so i wrote a bunch of monologues tied them together called it on lady like and in 2010 i had my first In stand up show there or here there 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 and what kind of crowd would come for that like a mixed race crowd it was crowd very and- yeah i would say it was mixed i, I would say it was No, who are you more talking to? Indian. Oh, so you more Indians would come. I would okay. say more Indians. So because I, of the I name? would say no because of my name probably. Yeah, yes, no, yes, yes. Of course. You see yeah. the name Radhika. Radhika. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Definitely. And also my. I mean, to be fair, a lot of my circle was Indian. Uh, but so I guess they spread the word. Also about it. Uh, definitely a lot of Indians, mainly women. So so it was a mixed crowd, but. 
I would but say would, would your thing be names. more uh, aimed at women specifically across every spectrum or is it more Indian women? It was women. It was women. I'd been there a really long time by the time I started writing. And I think that I started writing over there so that m- my sensibility became very much just talking to women as opposed to specific. Taking another complaints like a waitress. Yeah, tell like me. Like a waitress, tell me. Mr. Yeah. Smith, small yeah, that penis. Guy, okay, next. We, he's had it. Yeah, exactly. But I think, yeah, so it was definitely more about women in general, which is why when I brought the show to India, I didn't have to change anything. I didn't have to localize it. it so I didn't to have to localize it they at all. They keep telling you that localize it. They Take told the me. Script, they were like, "What are you going to do?" I was like, "Nothing. I'm too lazy." But you were the first person um, in in our world yeah. to take on these stereotypes and and actually talk like a sailor on yeah, stage. Yeah, yeah. So uh, some I, I did a little research, spoke to some. Even though I'm brought up by a pilot, I talk yeah. like a sailor. It's sold yeah. out even in the armed forces. So what was the initial reaction? I'm thinking in the middle of the t- t- early 2000s, uh, you yeah. know, people would be a little shocked, worried, yeah. uh, stunned. Yeah. Maybe. Can you I get think that? by the time I started. Uh, performing over here first of all uh the press was very kind to me uh, i think they were just surprised a lot of the women wrote about it a lot of the women journalists wrote about it and they didn't write about the vulgarian uh you know as but the vulgar thing is important because I think it's, it's important empowering because i love it how dare men only abuse and how dare men only talk about sexual parts i and think it's that's just, it's very much symbolic of what, what the whole thing is i do and you know what's more vulgar like saying i hate these people because they Pray to a different god, or talking about you know my bits. Exactly. Really, what's more vulgar? But well, men uh, stand and scratch themselves for forty-five minutes in a, in a corporate office. I mean, really, it's exactly. Not the worst thing in the world. They scratch their no, but, but arms. I just want to know. So initially, was there a little like uh, uncomfortability in the for audience? For me, no, no, for the audience. I think there was a little bit. My first show, by the way, in Bombay was at Where? the NCPA. Wow. At the That's a conservative theater. audience. Exactly. Mm. But I have to say that it was an amazing audience, mm-hmm. and uh, one of my friends who was sitting, uh, sort of. At the back somewhere, he said that in general everyone was cool, but there were definitely a couple of people around him who were like, "That's too." How much. could she say that? She's yeah. gone too far now. Yeah. And they're mostly men. Any? How do, no, some women difference? too. Let's is there a difference be in the way women and men react to your show? I think there is a little bit of a difference, but not that much. I just think that people self-select generally by the time they get to my show. You know, I think comedy audience are already a little bit cooler anyway. Yeah. Then if you're now, a new woman now, comedian. That's already the guy showing up there. Are uh, already a little bit uh, in my camp. Yeah. So yeah, I don't think there's that much shock. Uh, such a big difference between the male and female perspectives once they've seen my show. But you also performed in America and across <laughs> yeah, the world. So yeah. is there a difference in the audiences? Yeah, I mean, I think New York is a difficult. Like New York and London are places where they've been watching comedy for so long and all different types and all different types of people performing it. So you know, it's not an experiment anymore, and definitely. They're, so they're racist. They're, they're racist. Not, not clapping enough. <laughs> they're a more, I would say, just a more worldly audience. So they've just seen everything. You're they're being not, too kind. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm saying it in a different way. Actually, if they I'm don't just laugh, that we should expect, shoot them. No, nah, they fascist laugh. Fascist comedy. The nah, nah, what I'm saying nah. is, they actually laugh because they don't think it's weird for a woman to be talking what I was talking about. I think here, what happens is sometimes they're like, "Is she kidding? Have you ever got heckled? Is about rape? Someone scre- yeah, has ever? Is she joking? Has I'm they- like, of course I'm joking. I'm in a freaking club. But have they ever, you know, shouted at you? Has anyone like screamed? No, I think people are awkward about. Heckling women comedians because uh-huh. my male comic friends do tell me they get heckled every yeah. now and again. Especially touch topics like rape and all. I'm just thinking. Yeah, they're like, there's just silence, abortion, yeah. rape, these types of things. Yeah. I'll never talk to this woman again. Yeah, oh my well, God. Or cover my wife's ears. Yeah, cover my wife's ears <laughs> or my own ears, you know, yeah. whatever. Fair enough. Radhika, tell us quickly about what's coming up next. You, you're all over the place. You're doing shows on TV. No, uh, no, no, no. I want to do shows on TV. Radio Cyrus, but thanks for putting it out there. I'm just reading what, what we've got. Oh, Radio One Mo is a. Verve, GQ, Architectural Digest. Yeah, yeah, no, no. That's Architectural Digest, a major television channel. I don't know if you've heard about that. It's all about erections, <laughs> as far as I know. Oh. Exactly. No. So I write a lot of columns for all different places. And I used to do a thing for Radio One. And I still sort of go in and out with uh, Erica and Ekta every now and then. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I'm working on right now is a web series. It's called Shugs and Fats. And any yeah. of your listeners can watch that Tell on us about YouTube. Shugs and Fats. It's this is the, the thing YouTube. you did with another girl in America. Yes, is, my writing partner yeah. Nadia Manzoor. Is she also? Uh, that was an interesting thing I read about that. So this is this uh, Punjabis, India, uh, this thing. Yeah, so it's a Pakistani and an Indian, and um, their conservatism and our conservatism and our of. conservatism mixed, and they're both and, actually and, and, hijab-wearing Muslim women. Yeah. So that was sort of the joke, and uh, well, not that's not the joke, but the joke is really about the fact that you have these two hijabis in Brooklyn trying to. Get so what's your take the on the hijab now? Off the record or on the record? No, on the record. I mean, I definitely think that anytime a woman's not given a choice, it's not 
It's patriarchal my point misogynistic. Is, why do we cover it's the men? Feminist. I want to see From the fully. Looking. I agree with my a brown paper bag. Oh, men. dude, I've been saying this the longest time. There you go. I'm with you on this. I'm like, women are better, aesthetically more pleasing to the eye. Sorry, it I mean, it's true. It's not. It doesn't matter what uh, religion you follow. Cover all men, men should just be covered, just their faces. Cricket, we have it. It's called extra cover. Just cover them. Yeah. So yeah. So my my take on the hijab what is, is shugs? ladies do what you. So Shug, Shugafta and Fatima. Ah, oh, the names. Shugs and Fats. Okay. Yeah. So it's funny. It's on the YouTube. What is the Gotham Award? The Gotham Award is. Is an independent film award, which do we is, sound like an interrogation. Yeah, we do actually right now, and I'm answering it also really All enthusiastically. Right. Gotham the awards. Gotham Awards are a big independent film award that's given out in New York every year, and in 2015 is when they f- decided to allow web content into the award because up until now it was never you know that. And now the web's so big, so we have we skated in on that, and then we won for short form web content. So Shugs and Fats an award winner. It's pretty good. And are you going to co- collaborate with this uh, Shagufta again? Yes. Yeah, so the Shagufta, well, Nadia India, and I. Nadia? I want to bring her to India right now. She's working on her own show in the states, and we're working on this project, and we're hoping to make this into a TV show. We're pitching it to a lot of people. Let's see what happens. Otherwise, you know, go to Plan B, whatever. Let's that is. keep it in India, not Pakistan, for now. Well, definitely so. not Pakistan. Yeah. Not, definitely. But as Look I keep enough. telling people, every time I'm interviewed, every time the two of us are interviewed, you know, she goes off on Pakistan. She lives in New York, so it's it's safe for her to do that, and she. Goes Goes off in Pakistan, and I always say when I'm asked my questions, I'm like, "Well, the only thing India has going for it right now is we're not Pakistan. Hmm, we're yeah. so proud of that fact." Well, I must say, I roomed with Pakistanis; they were great guys. They are great guys. Absolutely great fun. Totally and had a great time, but unfortunately, it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, North Korea, South Korea having the same uh, problems. Uh, I won't tell you which problem. one is which. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, don't ask me any general knowledge questions. Okay, last question, Radhika. Before yes. we go to the AMAs, uh, what's up next? The worst question of all. The worst question of all. Uh, I'm. I don't know, sir. I'm just trying to keep. So the shows go on. The, the shows you evolve them. You rewrite. You do yeah. things. You come up with new stuff. I'm trying to come up with a new show. You have the web series. Yeah, I have the web series. I'm trying to come up with a new stand-up show. I want some new material only by you? the end of this year. Yeah, probably so far only me. Okay. Do you want an apprentice, uh, young woman? I don't want Naveen Arona under any circumstances. Let right. me just be clear about that. And Naveen wants to just spend, <laughs> spend a little time around you. He can spend time around me. He'll carry your bags. <laughs> Or whatever else he wants to. Apparently nothing. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> There's one thing we have in common. That he was nothing to do with either of us. <laughs> and considering he prefers my tribe, it's, it's I'm the one who should it's be insulted. True. It's true. All right, stay where you are, Radhika Vaz. We're going to do the EMAs in a second with me. Okay. If you have any questions for Cyrus, write to us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or you can send an email to whatcyrussays at gmail dot com. All right, uh, we've uh, got the presence of the grace of the one and only May, who's now doing Hindustani classical for us. Yeah, some, she's she's making some sort of sign language. The, the sounds yeah. are going to be taal. terrible. Taal, yeah. no, stop your dolls quickly before we go to AMAs. Uh, I didn't mention the ads you've done. Uh, we'll just take one yeah. soft sanitary pads. Sophie sanitary pads, but they are soft. Sophie, they are soft. <laughs> that they as are. I will find out when I as when you, you push them onto my face for exactly. making a mistake. Exactly, we'll <laughs> pin them to you. We'll pin <laughs> them to you. I I've done some brand work, so the way I like to do it is if a brand wants me to. Uh, write the copy and write completely from my own perspective. Um, I'm, I'm really. It's fun to do because that's what I did for Sophie and sort of my take on the, their whole thing was, you know, why do women say I'm down when they have their period? Like, are you really down? Like, yeah, what is the problem? Like, it's like a disease. Yeah. And so that was sort of uh, where they were coming they from, which I like. Down? Yeah, girls say I'm, like, I'm down. Muscat. Yeah, you're foreigner. You don't, you don't understand know. India. Yeah. I say I've got my monthly Cyrus event. Let's talk now and we we'll explain yeah. to you, child. I say I've got my monthly event. Yeah, monthly event. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. but that still, you know, sounds that's more. That's I do. That beat. It does. It's like hello. I've got MC here. I've got a band playing later. It's yeah. <laughs> but, but like my father will like ask you like how much you getting paid and all. Cyrus, Cyrus hosts also that event. Like and Cyrus hosts the event. Yeah. yeah. No, but this I am communist down with the opposite. Communist Russia's old event. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The red, yeah, yeah red, stop, red. Stop. red. I got it, I got it, I got Let's it, Mr. Brainiac. Sophie, 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 uh, Sophie uh, Sandy. So yeah, so, so uh, Sophie Sandy. So they asked me to do it, and I was like, okay, well. I think that so my whole thing was from the perspective if guys had their periods they would be like oh we have our periods yeah you do have it your periods nothing comes in a way. Out exactly, really. exactly. But that's not the problem that's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so <laughs> nothing comes out that's true uh, but so I was like that was sort of where I was going with yeah. it and they enjoyed it so I did it that way. Oh, it's really fun. I've seen it. So, that, that, but, the, but even the ad sort of is like her personality thing. Now she's on this whole thing to to fight for. You know, it's not, yeah. nothing wrong with uh, we, we're embarrassed about sanitary pads and periods. Yeah. And what, what yeah. Still point and look away at the, you know, know. the shopkeeper. 
What's what's with that? And the shopkeepers are embarrassed. Actually, they, now a lot they of never girls make eye contact. They I've they seen it. They, if shame. a woman asks, and especially uh, like a woman like you who's come yeah. from another culture, so you probably ask by looking at them, and they'll look away immediately. I promise yeah. you. It's, yeah. it's a gag. It's we should play. It's even worse if you have to go buy condoms. Yeah, you must. you must. You must go condoms, please. Yeah. <laughs> See you in DMS. Who dials? Who is paying? Who is dials? Who is paying? Can I have some prophylactic? Prophylactic. <laughs> hey, this is India, Radhi Kamal. <laughs> Rabbi, I know you're from French the Air Force. Letters. Can you're I French spending letters? Spending too much time in skies, not knowing what's going on on ground. <laughs> hey, me. Start the Emmys. Hey, me. Okay. Um. So, first question is from uh, Shazman Peter John from Pakistan. Oh. Who says I have heard Cyrus talk about Elvis and the Fab Four many times. Who's your favorite Indian or Pakistani singer, and any other bands or singers that you really like? Well, uh, Pakistan. I met the great Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan himself, and uh, you know they called him the Pavarotti of the Pakistan. And <laughs> very powerful vocals, no doubt. And yeah. my kind of singer because he ate a lot and drank a lot. Sure. She showed. He's a real artist. Oh, then you love Bappi Lahiri. I, I Bappi <laughs> Lahiri. Yes, I met. I met. I have lots of stories. I met him too. Uh, there was a guy oh, called Ali, Ali Haider who wrote a song called Purani mm-hmm. Jeans. Which I really liked, and uh, yeah, Janoon, the band, Pakistani yeah. band, uh, young guys. See, Pakistan is a lot like India. One day, the, the stereotype mm-hmm. is actually true, and we just say it and throw it out there. Mm-hmm. But they're exactly the same. The I urban, want to say India is a lot like Pakistan. Yeah, exactly. The urban, yeah. the urban Lahore, Delhi, Mumbai, you know, Karachi is all mm-hmm. very similar. Absolutely. And so they have so rockers. Can I just say Pakistan? Else. I don't think they have as many South Indians. I'm just saying. Uh we can send a few <laughs> if that's what you want. Just don't have money. I think, think, think Sasikala is free right yes, now. <laughs> yes, three or four years much. maybe. <laughs> not really free actually. Yeah, not really. You have to send her back. She's just without agenda. <laughs> <laughs> One, second. One second. thing about Pakistan: the jails are overcrowded. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> Yeah, lots okay. of well, just uh, lots of talent in Pakistan, no yes, doubt about that. Yeah. And I think we uh, Indians actually like a lot of their music and their talent and their they singing. Are very and even culturally their, vibrant. Oh, famous Punjabi yeah. uh, plays and films as well. So For that's sure. good. Okay, so Radhika Vaz will not tell you about her experience with Pakistanis oh, because she, why, her happened? partner is a Pakistani American. Oh yeah, yeah, my oh. partner. Yeah, she's a Pakistani American. Yeah, yeah. Pakistani Brit actually. Oh, she's a, lot a Pakistani of Brit. Off. She's mm-hmm. got lovely kebabs. Yeah, she's lovely. Does she kebabs. Have lovely. They're beautiful. Beautiful really? kebabs. If I want to hang out with you and your kebabs. <laughs> I'll take pictures and send you the next Yay. time. <laughs> you want to see them cooked? <laughs> They'll be carry on like this, on either side. On both sides. Now, seven-year-old Radhika and nine-year-old yes, May. Yes, and May. We, we can continue. We can continue. Okay. Um, Akash Podar says, they say that the world is at... 152 trillion dollars in debt. I want to know whom does the world owe this debt? To? Listen, ever since Aryabhatta came up with the zero, we Indians just throw numbers at people and I'm supposed to understand it. Mm-hmm. I just don't get it. We just makes up a number and says who who's who debt to whom? By whom? How? <laughs> Give me more specifics. You can't just throw numbers. What do you say, Radhika? Get I, out of this. Get out of this fast. I I uh, who is this Podar fellow? He should know everything. Know. He's a Gujarati, you know. No, Podar oh, is Marwari. Oh, but Marbari. I like your racism. Oh, so I like better. your racism. Even better. I like the fact that you look at that and you stereotype the guy. You Indian, Radhika, was your yeah, I am, I am, but I don't pretend I'm not. But like, this is the person who made me hate look your, bad. Hate your neighbor. Wait, this is the guy who made me look bad in America. How? And they wanted me to calculate, and I couldn't. All right, oh. so Podar, do it. No, I'm just kidding. Podar, I don't know. They who have their own college, own Podar College. All I know is I don't owe anyone anything. I'm a feminist. Yeah. <laughs> Screw credit cards. But one Screw trillion. I mean, once it goes no, over twelve rupees, I start counting with my fingers, no. and I run out of fingers. I run out of one fingers. One trillion. I don't even know what he's talking man. about. One hundred fifty-two trillion. This is so desi. So know? the whole world owes one hundred and fifty-two trillion. Wait, wait, Radhika, wait. There's, wait, a, there's, a, there's a Malayali here. Where? Here. Oh my what God! Is wrong she with one trillion. She knew at four. My don't worry. Trillion. Yeah. Are you tell us? <laughs> what is happening? Who one trillion. <laughs> Listen, we like you. I'm a Malayali. We are like owe someone money. Numbers. No, this no, 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 no money. No, that, no, that's different. I'm talking about the calculating ability. Okay, yeah, I got. Yeah, okay, my father's it's all a that CA, coconut oil. <laughs> father's a CA. Yeah. It's all the guaganuts. Oh. All the guaganuts. Yeah. <laughs> that's not bad. At least your accent is better than Cyrus's. <laughs> Cyrus is like the worst, and he spent I'm most of his time with my. I have lots of Malayali friends. Of course, I know. Of course, my Malayali accent is great. I'm from Uti. It doesn't mean it's a tri-state. It's tri-state. 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 She's a girl from Muscat. She no knows, Madras. No more she Madras. She knows one or two places, Kochi, this, that. Yeah. Not really no, Malayali. I think it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like the tri-state area is, is Kerala, Muscat and, yeah. 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 and Haryana now. Yeah. They, yeah. they have trucks. They do. <laughs> there you go. Can you get back to the question? Okay, next question. Um, Which Indian sports person deserves a biography but hasn't got one? Hmm, Vishy Anand. Oh yeah, Vishy Anand has not That's been given enough. That's a nice enough. one. I like that. How about Vishy Anand? Ooh, that should be really yeah. good one. Then he does Ma- deserve then, one. What about Maya? Maya doesn't have. Is she a sports? Of person? course, she sports really? people all the time. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> 
No? Uh, I think oh, Vishwanath no. Anand's a good one. Yeah, Vishwanath. Female uh, biographies are less. Again, oh, being yeah. a feminist. You think? There aren't as many. Uh, okay, for well, there's Mary people. Combs, which I have actually. Yeah. Saina Nehwal, yeah. no biography. No biography. World number one for a little while in badminton. Wait a minute! Didn't one of them Sanya write? Sanya Mirza, there are a couple. Yeah. There are a couple. There's a book. Okay, there's a couple but of books it, on but her. towards the end of her career. Sure. Considering Sina how what a big Nehwal name she has and how well she's done. Sanya was really sweet. But yeah, there are nice. many more. Yeah, yeah. I think definitely Sakshi Malik is going to have one written yeah. about her. The page three is done. Now the page four. What about? Oh man, another that other baddie player. Uh, oh, Sindhu. 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 Too young, too young. Too young. Yeah. Yeah. But she should have eventually in life, maybe. Sure. I'm, I'm not much of a sports person, so I can't. What about P T Usha? The Payoli Express. Why yeah. not P T Usha? P T Usha. Come on. Right here now. Page one. I should. I should write P T Usha Payoli Express. Write it down. <laughs> I think so. I think she deserves it. She deserves it. it. Yeah. And uh, Shiny Abraham. Shiny Abraham. Shiny Abraham. Nothing. I'm shiny also. I should be lunch about nothing. So many names. You're really. Uh, I'm trying. No, but I this is all our generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get a respect. Our generation. I'm. My generation is above yours. No, it's not. Show some respect. Put a little grain in your hand. Come here and talk to Uncle. My, show like you show a little gray, my like friend. They color my hair. Those buggers in the damn studio I go to. Mm-hmm. That is true. I've seen and him when he's not gone. They actually use blue color. polish. Now it's oh called topic. <laughs> but it's so embarrassing. My daughter came on a holiday topic. and she watched her uh, the makeup guy say head down, head down, and then they put this thing in your head like you know, like you're a shoe. Yeah. And my my daughter was like, my dad, poor guy, no respect. You know, she went back and said, Mom. you know, he's in marketing. She didn't know ever. He's in yeah. marketing. <laughs> embarrassing, really. Do you have kids? No. Why? Not interested. Feminist, my foot. No, it's not feminism. This is literally not. There are no, doctors, yeah, you know. Too much work. <laughs> too much really? Work. It's two minutes Can of I work. Can I tell you something? No, it's not. Yeah, for you it is two minutes of work. For me, thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah, for you thirty. Two minutes correct. on a good exactly. day when I take my protein. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and she takes the two. <laughs> How many kids do you have? Two. Oh my God. Can I tell you something? I have gone out. Like my mom is on this mission to convince everyone not to have kids. She's just like, listen, you don't yeah. want this responsibility for She's the rest right, of your and life. She knows. Enjoy your life. Correct. And I'm like, mom, I'm, She's right. I'm like right here. My the mom grass is care. greener and cheaper on the other side. Cheaper. Huh? Because when you see it's these couples with without cheap. kids, <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Super plus, cheap. Plus, plus, we can't plan anything with kids mm-hmm. involved. Yeah, it's awesome. Can I give, give my kids to you, no, feminist? No, please, thanks. Radhika Bas, thank you so much for being here. I know you're in a hurry to do your show in about 12 hours, so we need to let you go. <laughs> we'll see you soon. I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay, catch us on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Beyond Pod, any of the podcasting apps. Please, we beg you, we need you. If you have any questions, write to us online, and uh, you can mail us as well. We will answer. We have a doctor in the house called May. And that's what Cyrus says. Hey man, just help me out, man. I need some. I need some podcast, man. I haven't had a fix in a week. Just need some. Don't you worry about it. I got podcast galore for you, man. Just go to ivmpodcast.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks, man. I'm gonna check it out.